My belly is literally rumbling. Good morning! We're up nice and early for 7 a.m. Let's do this. Truthfully, I haven't gotten up this early all week. No, we've been lazy. with Will so it was nice. And yeah, I thought it'd be fun to do a little like chatty what I eat in a day. It feels like I haven't vlogged in ages and so hence why I want to make it a bit of a chatty one because I miss you. I miss talking to the camera. The very first thing I like to do is make myself a little protein smoothie. So we got frozen berries, spinach, protein powder, banana, that's literally it. <laughs> Okay, I've just spent the past 15 minutes like taking mochi out, doing a few things around the flat. I am hungry. I love a protein smoothie and honestly, it helps me feel like at least I'm not gonna pass out when I get home from the gym. But literally 10 minutes later and I am ready for breakfast. I am so excited to try this recipe. You guys know I love Em the Nutritionist and her recipe, so she made these like cottage cheese banana pancakes. I always think of pancakes as like a weekend breakfast, but honestly this recipe looks so fast. It was so sunny this morning and now it is actually chucking it down outside. It's disgusting. This is meant to be spring. This is why like spring, spring in the UK is so wet. Okay, I'm gonna start by mashing the banana. Next we're gonna add in the egg, just a little pinch of salt and then the star of the show it seems like cottage cheese is really having a moment i remember having it a lot as a kid i never know how much to put in recipes and i remember liking it but i honestly hadn't had it for years really like it plus it's like such a good source of protein and now we're just gonna mix the wet ingredients together now i'm gonna add some flour just plain flour here this recipe also calls for a little bit of um, baking powder. A half teaspoon. Honestly, who said that you cannot have chocolate for breakfast? I really don't want this to burn. Ooh, uh, that came out okay. Looking good. I am so... Excited to eat these, look at how good. Okay, my favorite, favorite toppings for my pancakes have to be a good bit of yogurt. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of peanut butter. And then, of course, some berries. Oh, we're not done. Honey, look at that. She looks so good. It's really fluffy, oh my word. Look at that. Okay, who knew that cottage cheese is literally like the most versatile ingredient? My tummy is so happy. I swear I've never made a recipe from um, the nutritionist and it not come out so good. I'm gonna get ready for the day now. I have honestly like a bunch of exciting things happening with personal life. Um, I'll talk about it when things are a bit more concrete. I've mentioned it on the podcast. It's just an exciting time, but it's a really busy time. Past couple of weeks have been really busy and just like mentally 
but we're grateful. I feel like grateful to be busy right now. Yeah, busy doesn't always mean a bad thing, so. I wanted to shout out this set that I'm wearing because, oh, are you kidding me? I felt so good in the gym today. I literally put this on this morning and Will was like, that is a nice set. <laughs> it's not often that he compliments what I'm wearing. I love this color. This set is from my favorite Gymshark, who I'm very kindly sponsoring this next part of the video. I've worn this set over on Instagram and I remember someone asked me where it's from. It's their Adapt Fleck collection. One of my favorite collections from Gymshark, the material. So yeah, I'm wearing the Adapt Fleck seamless leggings. This color is ocean teal. And then this is their Adapt Fleck seamless long sleeve top. I have the leggings in black because these are just like the perfect leggings. These are leggings you can rely on when you're in the gym. Like they're not gonna be falling down on you. Hug me well on the waist. Also, I don't know what kind of magic material this is made out of. In the gym, you might get a little bit sweaty, but this is gonna help conceal your sweatiness, your sweat patches. It's been designed to like make you feel good. I'm gonna say now I have a code, Becca W, which will get you 10% off. So if you wanna treat yourself to a new set, I really recommend. I'll show you guys the other top. This is the short sleeve equivalent of that top. Something I love about Gymshark is how like all of their pieces look so beautiful together. So yeah, just super cute. Like look at this neckline. Another favorite collection of mine from Gymshark is their Cotton Seamless collection. I have this with the matching leggings. Still perfect design for you to work out in, but also this material is so soft. I honestly love wearing this just like in the day. Oh my God, I love her. I'm really loving khaki right now and they have this in a bunch of other colors as well. But yeah. I'm gonna wear this today. Make sure to use my code Becca W and the link will be in the description bar. Go for it. I definitely think you need to do okay. things because it's such a big change. But I do like food, medicine, education, like everything. Like I think that food is so important. We're ready. I am challenging myself to still get ready for the day, even if it's like, I'm not really gonna see anyone. I could easily just stay at home all day in my pajamas, at my desk with no makeup on, all comfy comfy, which absolutely is fine a lot of the time, but sometimes it's nice to get dressed up. So we're gonna head to a coffee shop. I am also now at the point in the morning where I need my coffee, need my morning coffee. There's nothing more satisfying though than like sitting down to crack on with work with my morning coffee. So, let's go. Ooh, okay. I actually had a pretty productive time at the coffee shop. I had to pick up some packages before I make lunch. I know exactly what I'm craving and I'm not even gonna follow like a specific recipe, but I really want like sweet potato steak salad. Like a really filling hearty meal. I got some bits from Gymshark and then I hope this is what I think it is. No, I don't imagine it is. What is this? What is it? It's like a little wash bag. Oh, oh my goodness. The manager mentioning that this was gonna come in the post is, you know how I worked with Hertility? I did like a hormone test with these guys and I had the absolute pleasure of working with them on here. Love, love Hertility as a company, but yeah, they have partnered with Cult Beauty. This is a really nice little wash bag. Look at that, stunning. Okay, there's a bunch of goodies in here. Oh my word. Oh gosh, there's like tanning drops, lush stick. Oh, so cute. Thank you so much. Cult Beauty and Hertility, so sweet. Okay, I am now gonna make myself some lunch. What was I gonna say? He, um... sweet potato in to the oven and I just put that in for like 25 minutes it's now ready so now I'm gonna fry up my steak it feels kind of fancy to be making steak for lunch but I'm only gonna have half of it save the rest for like a lunch for Will or something how do you like your steak I have always been a rare medium rare kind of girl. I've just chopped up some veggies. 
I'm going to make like the base of the salad, kale and spinach. Okay, whilst the steak just sits there, I'm going to fry up these veggies just a little. I'm just going to add these veggies, some of the sweet potato. What was I going to do? Dressing. A dressing I love making is, and this is, super easy to do is just grabbing a like a Greek yogurt getting some I never know how to pronounce this Worcester Wa Wa Worcester shirt oh, this and I'm gonna get some just some garlic and onion granules because CBA with working with uh, proper garlic here. Okay, and then I also have some feta cheese to put on top. I'm actually so excited for this. Why am I here cooking with white jeans on? I need to actually get in the habit of wearing this. Let's add this. Guys, this looks so yummy. My belly is literally rumbling. Look how sexy. Yum, yum, yum. Mm-hmm. I'm proud of me. I know it's just a salad, <laughs> but mine, sweet potato and steak. Hi. Hey, how's it going? Evening. There's a particular dinner that I'm really, really craving, and it's one of my favorite go to dinners. And we have the ingredients, so I think I'm gonna, we're gonna go with it. It requires minimal cooking and is always super scummy, and that is a little poke bowl. I've got the rice cooking because I love using a rice cooker, so it takes a bit longer. I think it takes like about 40 minutes or something, so I like to get that one early, but now. I'm gonna prepare, I have sashimi grade salmon and also tuna. And I'm gonna just sort of mix them together with like spring onions, some different seasonings, good stuff. I'm just gonna let it marinate. This is actually a really good like lunch idea as well. If you're working from home and you wanna make something really speedy, I love, love this recipe. And also just how like customizable it is. I will put whatever I'm craving in there. Salad. We got salmon and tuna. I just go to like my local uh, Asian supermarket to get sashimi grade salmon so that basically you can eat it raw. Served. Do you prefer tuna or salmon? Is this tuna? Mm-hmm. Kind of tastes the same. Salmon. Ha <laughs> You wondering what this is? We're about to watch White Lotus. We've been loving it, haven't we, honey? Yes. We're almost at the end. Season two. So good, but I think I have found my new favorite dessert. This is a mochi brownie. Mochi and brownie. Mochi. <laughs> Go together. So good. I had, because I couldn't resist, I already had a bite of it. Oh, I got this from the same shop that I got the 
sashimi salmon from. I just realized I didn't get you one. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> it's Ben and Jerry's in the fridge, I'm gonna eat that. You can have that. This is my dessert. <gasps> it's like, it just makes it even more gooey. <laughs> like, look at that. That's like a 10 out of 10 brownie. So good. They do like mochi donuts, but I think I actually prefer this. Gonna have this with my little cup of tea. Just enjoy our little evening. 